Two people are dead, and tonight the Wakulla County Sheriff's Office is working to figure out how they drowned. Those drownings happening at those two locations on your screen in Wakulla County. A terrible end of the July 4th weekend. Sadness, 4th of July, and you just hate to see something like that happen. And everybody was panicking on board. And right now, Sheriff Miller says he is praying for the families and those affected by the drownings. I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. Tonight, we are hearing from the people who were there when it happened. We're also working to find out how it happened in the first place. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live in Wakulla County right now. And Candace, a terrible situation for everyone involved. I spoke with a captain today who says that she left the area right before the tragic drowning took place. She says that the message that she hopes everyone takes away from this is boat safety. Whether for fishing, boating, or fellowship, Shell Island Fish Camp is the go-to for the Wakulla County community. It's always a tight community down here. Most everybody gets along. You always look after each other. Though this place experienced a tragedy Tuesday night. According to Wakulla County Sheriff's Office, two separate drownings happened in the community. One in a Crawfordville neighborhood and the other on the water near St. Mark's. Deputies say so far in the investigation, both instances appear to be nothing more than tragic accidents. I was here when the boat came in at full speed. George Gordy has been fishing here for the past 36 years. He says on that night, everyone pulled together to help. And there was a multitude of sheriffs and Florida Marine Patrol and everybody was here, ambulances and the fire trucks, all that. Gordy says he lost his best friend to a boating accident. He doesn't wish that feeling on anyone. Deputies aren't releasing much information on the nature of the drownings, but boat captain Stacy Horak says that education is the key. There needs to be more education. I believe people need hands-on and they need to know what to do in a bad situation. Stacy Horak has been a captain for six years. She says she hopes the message everyone takes away from all of this is boat safety. Captain Horek says one of the leading causes of death on the water is falling overboard. She says wearing a life vest can save a life. Live in St. Mark's, I'm Candace Blake, ABC 27.